Hi, welcome to another episode of the Football Friends Podcast, and I'm joined here by Paddy today. Hello, Gage. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, actually. Fantastic. This is, um, I mean, we're spoiling it a little bit. I mean, the results have already happened, obviously, but this is the first week where none of our teams have won. Mm, true. I know. Heartbreaking. Um, yeah, I'm sad. I've shed definitely more than a single tear. Mm. Two, in fact. Yeah, so... So, at, le- at least no one made progress. That's- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Well, no, well, Spurs Spurs made progress by one point. Mm, yeah, yeah, clean sheet. But um, let's dig into my own personal misery and talk about West Ham three. Well, we we were just saying last time how amazing West Ham are looking, like, and how Liverpool are going to need to constantly outscore other teams if if our defense is you know off its game and in this game our defense was off its game Mm. man and and it started from the very start like we we basically conceded a goal from a corner kick it it was ellison's first touch yeah yeah his first touch he scored a goal Mm. and um not in the wonderful heroic way that he did against West Brom last season. Yeah, yeah. Um in a way that he'd probably rather forget. Mm. There were there were certain shouts for um for a foul. How did how did you see that? No. Like not like not at all. No no credence to it. It's just pretty standard stuff. I uh, yeah. I I feel like if I if I went down that road, it'd probably be seen as sour. And don't get me wrong, I am, I am sour, but it's sour more because we have good defenders. Van Dyke should be the best defender in the league. Matip is a very good defender. Also, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to handle, you know, the schoolboy tactic of hey, um, big fella, go stand on the keeper, just go well, annoy him. Well, like I was saying to you earlier, uh, West Ham leads the league in goals from set pieces yeah um and i was i was saying on another show how impressed i was with how well our attacking set pieces have gone Mm. well that's just because trent's just pinging them straight in well (laughs) well (laughs) yeah maybe so um but we've you know we're a couple games where we scored scored from corners or scored from set plays and that's great but um, you need to defend them as well, lads. Mm-hmm. Um, did you manage to catch the the Cresswell tackle on Henderson? No, I didn't see that one. But give it, give it, give us both barrels. Um, well, he gave Henderson both barrels. Is definitely what his what I'm. I can imagine what yeah. I'm gathering. Mm. Um, I'm definitely putting him in, in my bastard eleven later on. He's he's at least a, a sub. He's a suspended so sub. He's, he's definitely not a dom. No, I don't <laughs> like any of that. But um, nah, nah. It's um, it's just a worry that I I don't mind if that kind of tackle goes up to VAR. The man, the manager, the referee looks at the screen, and then he decides. You know what? I haven't made a mistake. That was. That was perfectly fine. Or it was only a yellow. Or it was whatever. But he didn't. I'm 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 just upset about that. Cause if if he goes over and says, you know what, I made a mistake, it's a yellow card. Then then what can I do? That's a referee who's looked at his own mistake and decided that it was that it was such and such a ruling. Fine. Mm. But well, that's it. The worst thing about VAR is they never use it when you want them to, but then they always use it when you don't want them to. Yeah. It's... Yeah. The technology itself is fine, but it needs to be used in a... How yeah. do you... Yeah, the, the problem is how do you use it in a way that's not frustrating? And I think that's almost... I don't think there's a way to they use it in a way that's yeah. not frustrating. Just, we just have to either live with it or um, choose to not have it. Yeah. And... Man, I don't know... I feel like this season it's better. Why not just have ten refs? <laughs> what one, 
what, like what about like in rugby league they did for a little bit two referees mm. you know they have one basically in the attacking line and one in the defensive line so actually i suppose it, it's kind of it'd be difficult for ones when it's ambiguous you know because sometimes you maybe just want a direct decision no, you you know, rather than how having about having two refs argue <laughs> no no how about an uneven amount of refs so if they all it's disagree three. it's just dem- democratically decided and they go well it's, then, a th- it's a three two split that yeah, well then for five oh. five <laughs> that's yeah but well then, what if it's like two yes two no and then one's like oh, I, I just don't i can't he's got to vote <laughs> what he what? can't sit on the fence mm. why not because this is a game of football oh, you can't yeah, just sit there and go oh give me five minutes no all i'm saying is sometimes a dictatorship is the best way just <laughs> <laughs> okay right so that's going in your um that's going in your police record but um yeah yeah i the Let's make this clear. The, the refereeing decisions in this game were not the reason we lost. We could have had Cresswell sent off. We could have not had that goal go against us. We've we've got to be... You know, Liverpool don't, don't actually respond well to having our fullbacks pinned back. Um, and I know Trent got an amazing free kick away. And also found some space to provide um provide another goal but uh look man it's it's not good enough we've oh look you gotta you can't win every single game right what i want to yeah but you're not you're not that good no well i don't i think you're right i think we're not that good um but we've hit, in all competitions, I think it's a 25-game unbeaten streak, which is more than handy. No, okay, you are that good. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But that includes, like, Champions League and League Cup and, you know, whatever. Yep. I suppose the, well, that's the new standard, right? <laughs> yeah. For, for top four teams, yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but but credit to West Ham, man. They've, they've now beaten this season in various competitions. Liverpool, Man City... Man United, mm-hmm. uh, Leicester City, and even their um, they've they've also qualified from their group in the Europa League, and they beat Spurs as well, and they beat Spurs. Wow, yeah. So is I, that yeah, worth... you, you were listing accomplishments? Like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Saying, yeah. Things worth <laughs> like should beating Spurs even be worth three points? Uh, well, yeah, uh, yeah. But, okay, but like a bit of three points, a bit of three, two, two bit, bitter. Oh, a bit. So, <laughs> how do you write that on the on the league table? I, what it just says. So it just there's say like, like a little asterisk. And it like says forty three. It says bear, bear in mind, two of the games in this league are against Tottenham Hotspur. I feel like it's very harsh, given that Norwich City also <laughs> occupy this league. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Can't be too harsh. Yeah, but um, but Divock Origi also scored. Like the, the quality of goals in this game, regardless of whether we won or lost, mm. from from all, I was gonna say from all corners of the of the pitch, liter- literally from all corners of the pitch, was um, aside from that one, of a very they were of a very high standard, mm. um, which is, I mean, for a neutral perspective, very very nice to see. For a, a losing team perspective, it's uh, a bit annoying. Yeah, well, you know, I'm kind of glad. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I know you, look, <laughs> it had to happen eventually. The, the, um, the biggest annoyance that I have is the fact that I saw I saw a high scoring game coming, and it's on a week where um, Chelsea did not win. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of thing. It, since we everyone screwed up at the same time, so it's kind of you get yeah. away, you get away with it. Yeah, and also it's not like see, it's not like you lost to Norwich, right? That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like we lost to the team directly behind yeah. us, who were having an absolute stormer of a season. Well, who now actually jumped over you? Who jumped over us? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's in terms of form, it's like literal. They they in terms of form, they are better than us. Yeah, yeah. In terms of form, they are they're probably better than they might even be better than Chelsea. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, the. 
things are happening. They right? only missed out on Champions League last season by, I think, three points. Mm. So, all aboard the West Ham, um, the West Ham, ham train, train. So yeah. the ham mobile, ham sandwich. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I was going to make a joke earlier that, you know, it was the ham versus liver. Like, the, yep. the battle of the cold cuts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, okay. But, it's, you know, exa- yeah, see, so it was... Yeah. It it's, was, um... It wasn't good. Strained. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So, so with that, it um, was the the ham train the ham delivering tra- the ham, yeah, <laughs> which also makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, so onto things, on away from things that don't make sense towards more things that do. Um, Brighton played Newcastle in a in a wonderful game, which yes, um, for eighty nine minutes was you know a fairly stock standard game of football. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we got to see the the best tactical foul of of the league season so far. Yeah, this this guy pl- went like um, he tried he tried to play like evil Manuel Neuer mode. <laughs> yeah. and, um, so he he basically was on the halfway line and just <laughs> yeah yeah. If if he was any closer, he'd be hugging the other goalkeeper. Yeah, and then just completely just. He he kicked Callum Wilson's leg off. Yeah, yeah. About thirty yards from goal. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I first looked at it, I thought mm, maybe maybe he doesn't have a direct goal scoring opportunity, but he he kind of does. He's he, close. The, the goal is what like a, the, the goal is the goal is wide shot. open, and Wilson's touch past the keeper His, is actually pretty tidy. His next. All he has to do is touch that ball one more time, and it's in that goal. His, his next touch is a shot, yeah, and if goal. it's a shot on target, mm. it's a goal. 100%. Um, yeah. So, we again, we see the this this wonderful, terrible foul, mm. um, and we see the thing that we all love to see, an outfield player, big dunkaroo, going in goal. Mm. Um, Shane Duffy had to help him get his gloves on, which was um, adorable. <laughs> Yeah, reminiscent of like OJ Simpson in that court trial. <laughs> Didn't think we were going to hear that reference today, but okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so OJ Simpson lined up in goal for Brighton <laughs> at some point. Um, and and of course, um, Shelby skied the free kick, which is his want. Um, mm. But the big discussion that happened in the group chat was when this happens. Like it feel it almost feels like Newcastle are shafted by only being mm. awarded a yeah, free yeah. Ki- a free kick well, because they basically scored a goal, and of mm. course they don't have their goalkeeper on anymore. But well, this thing is right. The goalkeeper gets a red for denying a clear goal scoring opportunity, right? Yeah, but then they don't even get Newcastle like, a clear goal scoring opportunity. So we. They get an indirect. They are they are, they are given an indirect goal scoring opportunity, which so, is not the same. Yeah. So that, you and I obviously agreed that some recompense is was needed. Yeah. More than just a, a basic bitch free kick. Mm. Um. Well, it just makes the the box kind of the outline seem like arbitrary, right? It's kind well, of, that's the, kind of the problem. The size of the penalty box is arbitrary. It, yeah. Exactly. But there's got to be. Otherwise, it's just. The entire pitch. Well, yeah, I'm saying it, ha- it has to be something, right? Like, it has so, to. It has to be yeah. something, but it is arbitrary. Fair enough. All rules, all rules in a game have limitations, and this is one. This of is them, one right? of this them. This is an example of it. Yeah. Um. So our magical solution seems to be somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in the middle. That that it would be a, f- a free kick from where the foul happened. A direct free kick. But a di- but, <laughs> but but no wall. Yeah. All the defenders have to stand behind halfway. Yeah, and everyone has to stand on halfway. Well, you could you could even just yeah yeah and yeah. And then basically you just have to shoot it into an open goal, no goalkeeper. Well, right? see, that's what I didn't like. That's where you and I really bumped heads. Well, no, okay, I just thought about. It. I just had a revelation yeah. right as you said it. Okay, no, you you set every player up exactly where they were I when the incident uh, happened that's i think that's insane so then the goalkeeper's actually behind you and then you get your chance to shoot oh okay i'm i'm letting people in behind the curtain 
what I what I said to you was Wilson gets his free kick from where he was fouled. Mm. Or whoever wants to take the free kick, fine. Shelby, the goalkeeper. Steve Bruce himself. Mm. Um and the and the Brighton goalkeeper has to start on the corner flag. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if nothing else, it will be immense entertainment. Mm, yeah, yeah. L- lols. A r- if a goalkeeper so I mean the it's pretty far. That's, like, you're that's not going to make it. That is quite okay. Fine. The the where the edge of the eighteen yard box meets the byline. Mm-hmm. That's that's doable if he kicks it slow enough. Yeah. But he's probably not going to kick it slow enough. Yeah, yeah. Because Callum Wilson just step up and pound that. Just step in, up, but... do a, like a basic mm-hmm. floor pass into the other corner of the net and score. Yeah, but but that's it kind of thing. Is there needs to be something different because. The outcome did not. There was no justice. That's yeah, how, there's it, it, a it, sense of injustice. Like it's with a this fe- it's a feeling. Like it's yeah. not something objective, but it is a feeling in our hearts. Well, no, I explain to you why it's objective, and the fact that you had a direct, clear yeah. goal scoring opportunity, yeah. and you were yeah. only given an indirect goal scoring opportunity. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. D- true, I suppose. Um, but at the same time, a penalty, like an actual penalty kick because of the arbitrary measures of the penalty box mm. yeah. also doesn't seem right. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's like in, I think in basketball, like if you get a foul anywhere on the pitch, you get free throws, right? So, Yeah, but the player who's fouled has to take it. So maybe we should bring that in. Yeah. So What if they would break your leg, though, and you have to so, go off? <laughs> okay, then the player who replaces you has to do it. <laughs> A coach, a fan, mm-hmm. anyone. You've got to take it with your not broken leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I, but I, yeah, unfair sucks. Yeah, it, it, on, on behalf of Newcastle, sorry, robbed. Yeah, yeah, robbed. robbed, robbed of at least a chance to fuck it up for yourself. Mm. Um, but they have got themselves a new manager. Yes. Mr. Eddie Howe, who they um, very good, very good. You know, they had the the chance of of getting him a wee while ago and and didn't jump. Um, but you know, this is the guy who brought Bournemouth up from the from League Two, yeah, I think, and kept them in the Premier League for five seasons. Okay, so he, he he's it, man. he's not Guardiola, and he's well, not Tuchel, sure, but he's well, you know, he's thing. also not Steve Bruce. He plays attractive attacking football as well yeah and they're about to get some attractive attacking players yeah well they have like a do- <laughs> if, if football manager 2021 is any uh you know which it certainly is yeah yeah it is something to go by they'll have like you know 250 mil to spend on yeah in, let, this, let, in, Jan- in january yeah let them do what they want <laughs> yeah yeah so th- that's still a mystery to be seen it's not very far away really no it's it's really not it's um it's only six weeks till january and they might well who we talked about we've talked about barcelona's troubles they could go and raid barcelona for two or three players mtt coutinho yeah definitely who knows well sweet as barcelona just replace them with three young guys like i don't know like <laughs> yeah. they were just, they'll, they'll they'll just they pull got, literally they had pedri in the in the euros right and then he played in the olympics and everything so 18 year old playing midfield he, everywhere he, playing everywhere he basically. literally just hasn't stopped yeah and then in that same season, they had, um, well, Mingueza and whatever, and Araujo, yeah. like young guys. And now and, and Gavi. Now they've had Gavi, this guy who plays right wing and midfield, and he's also 19, Spanish. And then there's another guy. Um, so so they'll they'll lose maybe Coutinho, Umtiti, Pjanic, and they'll just g- yeah. pluck literally Re- any child from La Masia and just him go with Nico yeah <laughs> Nico Nico's the new one yeah. the, just some Spani- Spaniard mm. child Ansu with Fa- a single Ansu name Fati. yeah 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 well they remember they just got they got rid of Arthur not that oh, long ago <laughs> <laughs> oh who's this player Dave yeah pretty much yeah the, David that'd be a good one yeah I'd watch him play yeah yeah okay so so yeah, that's that sums up Brighton versus Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Newcastle's got a team to rate. Yeah, well, that that's still the the biggest headline, right? Everyone's waiting to see Newcastle, right? Yeah. Brighton, uh, they got another point. That's actually very good. They're 
they're they're a good team. Yeah, just um, I don't know about you, but I don't know who Brighton's backup goalkeeper is, and I don't know if he has the impressive hands that Sanchez has shown thus far. Maybe it is just Lewis Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we'll have to see, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course, um, we'll see after the international break. Mm. Maybe Sanchez will have some time to um, impart wisdom. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Well, so, should we move on to... You've, you've uh, prepared something for us. I've I've prepared, um, you know, a bit of a... We mentioned the Bastard Eleven yeah, yeah. last week. Yeah. I've, I've given it my best shot. This is oh. the part where I wish we had paid music or something. Yeah. Be like, do, 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 do. Yeah. Thank you. The Bastard Eleven. Bastards. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah. So some of them will have reasons provided. Some of them will be extremely obvious. Mm-hmm. Um, so in goal, Mad Jens Lehmann, who um, when he was playing for Stuttgart, clashed with a, a Hoffenheim striker whose boot fell off. And, um, and Jens being the um, honest sporting man that he is, threw it on the roof of the goal. <laughs> Honestly, genius. It's, that's, it, it, that's yeah. so good. He's just been like, hey, I just was getting it out of the way. Just <laughs> like, uh, Unironically, he should get a goal for that. Yeah, that's that's genius, man. Like, cause well, yeah. How's he going to get that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, that's thinking inside the box. That's man. thinking inside the box, on top of the box, and yeah. <laughs> who knows else? Um, so defenders, uh, David Luiz. Oh, without a doubt. How? how <laughs> yeah, just the the uh, the foul king. Yeah, he he actually loves. He just will foul you. Mm. That's what he's all about. He int- he's intimidating because he's because you're waiting for when he's going to foul you. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's almost like defending is third nature to him because mm. because fouling is second. Um, I've got John Terry. Yeah, don't even need to say it. Um, mm. Sergio Ramos. Yeah, again, you don't even need to say he's like thirty red cards. Yeah, this everyone knows that one. But there's a lot of def- Obviously, there's a lot of defenders here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, we're playing five at the back. We could play eleven at the back if we wanted to, but um, I've gone for a, a, a four three three ish. Mm. Um, Ashley Cole, yeah. Again, no. If something did need to be said, brought an air rifle to Chelsea training and shot a work experience boy. <laughs> what? I think it was. Ac- I think fuck? it was accidental. Oh, what? Are you, yeah, yeah. But just just like Alec, what well, Alec Baldwin yeah, said, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Alec Baldwin's the um, team owner. Oh, he's like, oh, <laughs> he didn't know it was loaded, yeah. Um, midfield, Busquets. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. Like, we'll foul you, then mm. roll on the floor and dive. True. And wa- wait for you to get yellow carded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Roy Keane. Yeah, yeah. Just, he's Roy Keane. Yeah, we've thought, we've all seen it. Um, <laughs> we We know. <laughs> Um, at the point of the attack, I've gone with um, a guy who you hadn't heard of until about 10 minutes ago, mm. um, Al Hadji Juve, who yeah. um, was a Senegalese uh, man. Still a Senegalese and still is a man, but um, he had a good World Cup 2002 um, and signed for Liverpool, actually, for I think about 10 mil, which was quite a bit at the time. Um, made no friends, alienated everyone. Um fell out with you know a bit of the dressing room i think at some point um like the literal dressing room not the players within it mm. um sort of bumped down the uh the footballing hierarchy ended up at blackburn where they played a game with qpr in which he broke jamie mackey's leg with a challenge um and is alleged i'll have that clear to have said fuck you and fuck your leg <laughs> Over, over, Mister Jamie Mackey. Um, Rough. And the uh, the opposing manager was was Mister Neil Warnock, um, who uh, called El Hadjiju a sewer rat, but that would be <laughs> impolite to sewer rats. <laughs> so the 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 whole story around this is amazing. It just, like the quotes keep getting better, and the next one 
the next one was by Jove. He's like, who is this Warnock? I know nothing of him. He is not Ferguson. He is not Arsene Wenger. He is not Sam Allardyce. <laughs> <laughs> Neil Warnock does not like me, and I do not like Neil Warnock. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So right. I think he's the captain. Right, yeah, he's, right up He's there, the yeah. captain. <laughs> um then I've got Suarez. Yeah. Who started off the whole conversation, so he's gotta well, be he's gotta be in the he's, team. He's more than one biting incident. He, he got three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in one career. Yeah, amazing. Um Diego Costa. Unrivaled, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Close close contender for the captain. Her yeah, man yeah, Ramos. He, yeah. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of leaders in in this <laughs> bastard squad. Yeah, they're, well, they're all people that enrage other players. Like, yeah, yeah. and themselves. Mm-hmm. They feed off it. Um, and leading the line, Eric Cantona. Yeah. Oh, how, well, how, how can you not have a man well, who kicked a fan he, he, in he a lead, game? He leads the line right into the stands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, look. We just play that. We pray that we're not playing Crystal Palace in the next game. That's all I'm saying. Because mm-hmm. otherwise, that he will be in the stands. Yeah. Um. And the the manager is Jose. Mm. It's definitely Mourinho. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Manager's got got to be Mourinho. Yeah. That's mm, true. I mean, there are there are some other candidates, but. It's it's got to be Jose. Yeah, he's earned it. Yeah, and he's he's our special boy. We love him. Yeah, the special one, of course. Yeah. All right, so I think that's it's probably enough from me. All right, yeah, yeah, that's you've, yeah. You've all heard my voice for far too long. Mm. Any closing thoughts? <sighs> um, nah. Sweet. I've, I've done too much thinking. Yeah, it's ages before the next match day, so it's not really much. Well. Nice. Probably do a preview before then, so yeah. Well, we'll we'll certainly, given that there's no Premier League or domestic football, that we'll come back in the next week with some utter nonsense for you. Otherwise, welcome yep. back to we the are. Football Friends podcast. Now I'm joined with Ash. How's it going? What's going on? You yeah, right? you yeah. just you just missed Patty. You know, there was just uh, it's first. We're gonna have to split it up this week just because of uh, time constraints. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, that's fair. But that's cool. That's that's all good. Um, we can. Fill in the gaps, you know? Yeah, bring it on. Yeah, all right. Um, who do you start? Do you want to start with Spurs or you want to start? Um, yeah, Spurs, good place to start. Um, we played a nil-nil draw with Everton. Um, Lovely. Yeah. Uh, Conte's first first uh, Premier League game back. Um, we look solid at the back. Like the, I like the three at the back. Mm. No, we didn't. We hadn't. The Vitesse game hadn't been last time we talked, right? I don't think so. Because that was the first match, and it no, was like, yeah, it was like, the yeah, it, was like that, a, it was that night, the the next day, yeah. Because yeah. I read the yeah. headline, it was like ten man Spurs team victorious over nine man Vitesse. And yeah. I was like, whoa, what? Yeah, it was, it, like, was a, it was a crazy big, game, big, but it was like <laughs> it was just real random. That game was like Spurs were up three 0 by half time. Yeah, and yeah. then it just like. There were so many yellows the second <laughs> half and just, yeah, yeah, desperation. Mm. It wasn't a great game to watch, um, but that's the conference league. Like, it's not going yeah. to be good football. Never going to be good football. So, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, that was that was average. Um, then, obviously, yeah, we played Everton and neither time neither team looked like scoring. Um, Fun. It was, it was good like, old English football game. Oh, it was rubbish. <laughs> like, yeah, it was two teams desperate not to lose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then they had a man sent off in the last, like, two minutes. Oh, right. Um, Holgate. Keep... Holgate was sent off. Oh. Um, for He he went to clear the ball, um, and then his follow-through was, like, knee height on Hoiberg. Uh, and it was a yellow, but then the VAR said it was a, a red. Real? Um, yeah. Sure. So... Okay, well. So, yeah, it was just studs up and in the knee. Oh, yeah. Not yeah. much you can that, do about it. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah. No, um, the only other highlight was a Lloris penalty. Um, he, they, the ref said he took down Richarlison, um, oh, yeah. but VAR overturned that as well and said that he got before the ball. Oh, wow. Which okay. was clear. Nice. Um, Richarlison, as soon as he, like, he went down but kind of, like, bounced up. Yeah, yeah. And, like, you know, 
automatically turned towards the, where the ball was going. Mm. So it was like, it wasn't, you know, it's not like he made a big dive out of it. But yeah, it's just. But it wasn't enough. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, yeah, fine. And right. when you look at the replay, his hands in front of his feet, so. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that was, that was that game. It was boring. Um, so still yet to see from Conte, I guess, yeah. We'll yeah. See. He, um, post-match interview, he just, yeah, time. Mm. Kept banging on time. We need time <laughs> yeah. to play the system. Well, half the players are gone on inter- international now as well. So yeah, yeah, true, true, yeah, true. So yeah, we'll see. So oh, then you did play three at the back, right? Yeah. Okay. Straight into it. Yeah. Yeah. So it was Romero, Dyer, and Davis in the back three. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's well, there's we have no centre backs. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to sign. That's what I was saying last time. You got to, you're gonna have to sign some centre backs. We need at sure. least two. Yeah, yeah two centre backs. So, yeah, yeah. We'll see how that goes, but <laughs> it's all <Yeah>. good. <laughs> we still got Sanchez. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think he's injured. Oh right. But I don't trust him anyway, so I wouldn't start him over any of those. Yeah. Okay. And I like having Davis in there because he's a left-footed option instead of having three right-footed centre backs. Yeah, sure. At least Davis has that left foot, which means on that left-hand side. You're basically playing on the edge of the 18 yard box, so you kind of want that left foot to be able to. Mm. Yeah, I feel you. Stop the outside run and yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Balance, so yeah, we'll see. Right. Okay. Um, More to come. You're saying. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Leeds. Leeds. Leicester. One one. Yeah. Um, the Rafinha goal was an absolute screamer from a free kick. Oh, right. Oh man. Yeah. I didn't well, know it's not that. a screamer, but like it kind of like bounced midway and in, into the far corner, um, and then basically straight from the kickoff, um, Leicester played a long ball to the corner for Harvey Barnes, who got it, <laughs> got it in the corner, cut back towards the chill zone, and then banged it in the far <laughs> corner. Oh my god! Yeah, far out. Yeah, that's, that's so, two. <laughs> yeah, just two erratic goals. Like yeah, that. like just, and it was literally the like. The whistle went for the second half, for the no, for the kickoff, <laughs> and yeah, they played it straight off to Harvey Barnes on the wing, straight into it, and then he cut back into the chill zone and <laughs> yeah, bangs it. It was like his first goal of the season or something. Oh, so, man. yeah, nice, nice. Um, what else we got? Arsenal Watford. Yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. One nil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we just saying before that, like you know, Arsenal is on a bit of form, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it sucks. Yeah. But, sadly, but yeah, yeah. But uh, well, Emil Smith Rowe, man, he seems like a quality player. He just seems to be scoring every game. Well, they, you know, when you're in form, luck follows you. Mm. This was Arsenal's lucky game. Um, you know, there was a penalty given away from Watford from Danny Rose, mm. um, where he close lines um, Lacazette. <laughs> yeah just running in after the ball and just like has his arm up and just like fucking hell yeah just takes him completely out um <laughs> and then uh Aubameyang takes a penalty and it's saved by Foster oh my god yeah Foster so um damn so yeah and that was just they should have scored two or three goals Arsenal mm, okay. um okay and then for the what for go- uh for the goal for Arsenal, a Watford player was fouled and stayed down just outside the 18 yard box. All oh, right, yet the play carried on, and all the players wanted him uh, the ball out, yeah, yeah, and it carried on. And then Smith Rowe scored the goal. Mm. So, you know, when you're when you're well, informed, luck follows you. Mm. Like, he's in the middle of the pitch, you could the ref normally would stop the game for something like that. He He ended play though. He, he was yeah. like, "Oh, I'll end it real quick. Watch yeah. this." Yeah, <laughs> there was a couple more passes, that, and they like they went, they ran past him, kind of the guy on the ground. It was oh, yeah, okay. Well, so yeah. like Watford, you know, you could you sympathise with them for that. Probably should have stopped the game, but Smith Rowe scores instead. So yeah, but yeah, when you're on form, you're on form. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll, you'll never let him have it. Eh? Nah, nah, no, it could could never. Um, West Ham Liverpool you've already covered yeah me and Pat um, so yeah I just want to say I told you West Ham are up there yeah well, yeah, I, yeah me too come in they're coming they're dangerous man what is it like the Moyes effect man like how good is he Moyes boys yeah yeah like <laughs> man, they they look good too they, they're probably the best team 
in the Premier League at the moment. Like form wise, yeah. No, just like <laughs> as a collective eleven, they're the best. Like they're the most well drilled. They do everything right. Well, they don't have great players. They just do things right. They all the obey Moise. instructions. Yeah, that's yeah, the Moyes. Moyes has got them doing exactly well, what they need to. Yeah, well, what I said to Patty was that they they lead the league in goals from set pieces. Yeah. So it's that kind of shit. It's drilled, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I agree. But anyway, moving on, I suppose we can talk about the Manchester derby. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just sort of seemed to be a bit of a weak performance from, from us, I guess. But both the goals, though, were kind of like um, just kind of freak moments. Like, you know, Eric Bailly makes this mistake after playing like out of his skin in the last game. Like he was amazing he sort of just makes that error immediately <laughs> yeah it's yeah. a hard one because he it deflected off the may for an own goal well no it's like a um the balls the city's like cutting the ball back and he's and he like sliding to clear, to clear it, it and yeah. it goes in the goal yeah I, I, that's not his fault eh? well <laughs> it, it is but like it's not it just that shit happens it's yeah. like it's not like they dominated us it's just kind of a freak moment yeah and then but then the last goal was amazing. Like they have a, you know, they, their second goal, every player in the city team touched it. Yeah. In that phase of play. And then, yeah, Bernardo Silva finishes it like in the craziest angle. Like, yeah, but also the defending wasn't good there either. Well, Luke Shaw kind of gives up. Yeah. And De Gea probably should have saved it too. Cause it like hits him in the chest and like goes. In. Yeah. I, that's probably my gripe with, United at the moment is probably that De Gea isn't strong enough to direct the back four. I I like the back four is not good enough anyway, but I don't think De Gea does enough as a goalkeeper to dominate that back four with his words and that. Maybe, yeah. That's what that's my point of view. But that's anyway. what Maguire's supposed to Maguire's supposed to shout his tits off, you know. Yeah, that's, well he's kept should got, he should he be captain? That's the thing that's coming out at got, the moment. He's got twenty out of twenty shouting, yeah. Um, well, oh, okay. Well, well, he's got a big head, so well, surely well, like, there's enough shouts in there. I've um, I've actually been playing the new Football Manager 2021 because it just came out. Yeah, and I get it on Xbox Game Pass. Uh, it's not a sponsorship or anything. I'm just saying it. Um, can it be? Can oh, I, well, yeah, I... yeah. You sponsor me if you want to, man. I mean, but even even then, it's only like twelve bucks a month, and you get access to all these games. And so you get the football, new Football Manager. And I started the new career as Manchester United. And immediately, the first thing the board asked me to do is make Cristiano Ronaldo the captain. <laughs> because he has, like, 19 leadership. So, yeah. he's captain and then Bruno's vice captain. And Maguire's third. <laughs> Just dropped. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of talk around Maguire's captaincy, eh? Um, there's probably not enough leaders in that group besides those two you just said. Um, yeah, Ronaldo well, from what and- I understand, Pogba has a lot of influence as well. In the dressing room, and I just don't think he's good enough to start every game. Well, he's actually uh, injured now, mm. uh, and you know, apparently he got it happens every France. season though, doesn't it? Whenever he's having a semi bad time, he seems to get injured. Has yeah, I, I don't know, man. His his work ethic doesn't seem strong enough. It's I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's just sometimes he can't play. He's not consistent sometimes. But yeah. when he's on, he's fucking on, man. Oh yeah. Like, you know, just the start of the season, he gave four assists in one game. And, like, but now he's injured and that kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, he needs to be doing these crazy knee exercises I've been looking into. They're real <laughs> good, man. I swear to God. Yeah. yeah. Are these the ones that you were lying on your back? Yeah, yeah. Straddling the wall? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. And then, like, hip flexor workout, man. It's awesome. Do hip, okay. do hip flexors. Okay. Look, just look at Ronaldo's legs, man. And you can tell that he's done hip flexors. And that's all you need. That's all I need to say. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so are we gonna are we gonna start like a knee training video for these? For no, we, you don't need to. It's no? already it's it's already out there. You can already find it. People, yeah. I'm sure people want to see you yeah. do knee exercises. Well, there's heaps of people out there who aren't medical doctors giving you uh, advice, <laughs> knee protection advice. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, whatever you're into. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, well, we'll see, right? If Pogba's out, this is the chance for uh, someone to step Donny van der Beek. 
maybe. This is... Yeah, possibly. Or do you know what? Play four four two. Yep. I actually well with Bruno Bruno McTominay as your midfield too. Well, the other the other idea is because we recently played with three at the back. Yeah. So it was oh well five five at the back I guess so it's like. Which is I I agree with that if you're coming up against a team like Man City and you know you're going to be on the back foot, hmm. but United should go against it, anyone in the bottom half thinking they can dominate those games. So I would be looking at a four four two. Four four two and just against the yeah. teams and then yeah. three and then play three at the back because well yeah they kind of or the idea is to play like some kind of diamond thing because no nah, it doesn't work not in the Premier League doesn't work mm. I there's just other you know you're giving other teams too much width if you play a diamond midfield it doesn't matter how wide that diamond if the diamond's wide mm. you lose too much space in the middle which is where they're losing a lot of their yeah, their okay. game anyway so if you go with a tight diamond you give up all that wide and then you're two on one out wide but like if we play four four two would be weird because it works but like where do you play bruno is he in the mid yeah him He's... and him and mctominay is your midfield too yeah but then and you have ronaldo and cavani up front uh, yeah and then what rashford and rashford and sancho that's oh that's that's ridiculous, though. And then you've got your back four. Well, but the problem we're, the problem is we're leaky defensively, and you're, this sounds worse. No, <laughs> this sounds no. like more leaky. No, it doesn't. I, no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Why? Well, like you've got, got an extra attacker on now. Right, <laughs> we've got one less midfielder. No, but you're four. Like you're playing with two line, two lines of four. So effectively, you've got two two lines to get through you think like if people are attacking your back five there's only one line to get through the midfield two or three that you have aren't a full line they don't cover the whole pitch so you're going in against two two banks of four which make like if you beat the first, if you beat the midfield yeah. you've still got your whole back four to clean up any scraps so no overlapping you're saying with the fullbacks the fullbacks stay stay deep um, is that what you're saying? They, yeah, I, the, what I, yes. And if you're attacking down the right, Juan Basaka pushes up and Shaw tucks in to almost play on that left sided centre back position. So yeah. you pendulum swing. Uh huh. Down each side. When you attack one side, you swing around. Just, it's very old school, very simple, but. Sure, I see what you're saying. So yeah, you just swing that push when you're going down the right, you push up with your full back. Mm. Then your attackers push in. Yeah, left winger, that's when they or your left midfield, they tuck in as well. And that frees up Bruno to push on and support in the middle. Mm. McTominay's gonna sit and hold, and he's got that support on the left hand side who's just tucked in a bit. So if a ball does come in, he McTominay can go and that midfielder tucks in right that that's like that's how my brain works that's how mm, i don't know it's very simple but, very okay. old school but that's yeah. how i think they should be looking to play against well, smaller so, teams okay so i think yeah well maybe you'll you will like the idea of this back, back three because it's the back three is kind of like that so well three center backs i mean back five so it's yeah Varane, Maguire, Lindelof, or whatever, back three. Yeah. And then you have Luke Shaw on yeah. left back. Um, alternatively, you can have Luke Shaw as one of the back three and then have Alex Tallis on the left back because Luke Shaw's played left centre back a bit and he, it works. Yeah, he gives you too much with the crossing though, doesn't he? He's got a good cross on him. But so does Alex Tallis. Mm. Um, so they could switch. But there's that option, play, right? Play it up, yeah. And then on the right side, they've actually said, and this is funny because I think you said this, Apparently they're talking about maybe playing Jaden Sancho as right wing back, because <laughs> then he would swap with Juan Bissaka, and then it's kind of idea is that since you've got like Luke Shaw or whatever, the back three just kind of becomes a back four because Luke yeah. Shaw just drops. When in. you when you have the ball and control of the game, you can push on. Yeah, and then Sancho can just control that kind of right side. So that would sort of I get that, and then yeah, because I, I see I see they should do that with Sancho and Rashford. Yes, you did say that. Yeah, 
But then Rashford can play as a striker. So, yeah. like, they play... I all, just... Yeah, I was just... But so they'll play five at the back and then two midfielders. Yeah. So, uh, and then, yeah, you're not too far off front. what I was thinking. Mm. Like, yeah, you know, they can switch. You can... Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot better than... It seems more stable, but... Well, it gives you it gives you an attacking option, not just all defence. But, come on, shouldn't... I mean, I suppose a lot of teams are playing with a back three at the moment. It seems to work. Yeah. It, like Chelsea, obviously. It's, but, um, it's the fair bait. Kind of, but it works, right? Well, it's it's that fear of don't concede. Um, yeah. It's almost like you'll get at least one or two chances, back yourself to put those away, and don't concede anything. Well, it's it's, a, like Chelsea are good at it. They mm. don't, what, they conceded one goal from open play this season or something? Yeah, well, that's the thing. Chelsea don't necessarily... They don't have a lot of chances. And they're, they're not a super attacking team in that way. They're no. more... Um, Structure, like, like counter, like, counter. Their goals are like spread out throughout the team. They're not. They don't have like goal yeah. scorer sort of. Not like Liverpool or something where Salah scores every goal. You know. Yeah. Um. You know. Yeah. So it's a different strategy, but I think there's pressure for United to play straight attacking football. Like we should. We they would want us to play four at the back. It's yeah. I I think like I so, just said they like, they should play four four two. I would like to see four four two with Ronaldo and Cavani up front. That would be beast. But why not? Like, there's a reason Sir Alex Ferguson used to play it every game. <laughs> like, you know, he would mm. the old time he changed his formation, and it was for uh, something special. Like, yeah, you know, um, Champions League final where he puts. Um, Jason Park to man Mark Messi the whole game. Yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, he he didn't often change from a four four two, unless it was something really drastic like that, where he's like, actually, <laughs> if we nullify that threat, you know, we'll free up more space and kill their game. And yeah, yeah. So I I agree with that. Um, yeah, Sancho's a wing back. Love the idea. Yeah, and then why was I? Well, he hasn't he hasn't needed. featured much, I. Hey? No, he has. He's just been not good. He's played. <laughs> but like, has it been that bad? Like he's played about thirteen games. Oh, and just nothing so far. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that sucks. But we'll see. He's you know he's still got time. He's only just arrived. But yeah. It would suck if he's another you know Bundesliga player that just can't quite hack it. Well, yeah. It's the Premier League's <laughs> weird like that, eh? Hey? Like it takes a lot for players to get going in the Premier League. Um, it must like compared to other leagues, it must be so much faster, like on the body and things like that. So, but yeah, oh yeah, well the the pace of the game is uh, a lot quicker. Oh, apparently, one rumor I heard was like there was banter from the team, and Sancho was like, he said something like, "Man, yeah, the Premier League is way faster, isn't it?" And then the players responded like, yeah, well, you better get used to it quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily a good thing, though, is it? Like, having a faster league? Well, yeah. some players can't. I know, I know what you're saying. Some players can't adapt to it. But, yeah. you know, he's a he's a pro player, man. He was, oh, no, he was, he's, he's English-born, so he should, should have some idea of how quick the game well, is he, played. I think he played for, like, Birmingham or something before he went. And he ended up at City. Oh, no. He's oh, no, in San- City. No, sorry, you... San- Sancho was City, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Bell- City. Bellingham was Birmingham. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he's played in youth level football, which is probably yeah. as rough as it gets, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, I've heard the youth system uh, was pretty bad anyway. So. Well, you just look at the championship, man. It's, oh. like, it's rough ass. Like, you know, it doesn't take. <laughs> I reckon I could play championship football. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> sure. Just sure. saying. Right, right. Somebody saw me up. Maybe Where like off, office championship. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but so yeah, that's the idea. Let's all see because obviously we have to play Ronaldo in every single game. And you're saying now we're going to play Cavani. So I'd lo- play well, not, Cavani- necessarily, not necessarily Cavani, uh, but yeah, I think oh, you should like play R- two. Rashford and Ronaldo. Or- I would almost look at playing if Pogba's fit and playing well, I would almost play him as a second striker. You're insane. No, what? I'm not. No, but why? Because ne- I but don't think he can, I don't think he can defend. <laughs> he, I don't think yeah, he... Well, I, I think he would be a better player without any responsibility and playing in a front two. I think he would be a better fit than he would play in the midfield. Well, I... And that way he can drop off, he can, he can find the 
play in the channels, you know, pick up the ball out wide, and he can play those magical passes because he's not having to track back every five minutes. Well, actually, when I think about it, when he get, got those four assists... He, he was, was playing further up the he field. He was playing, like, left mid like, yeah. for yeah. when Rashford was out and shit. Yeah. And true. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. He needs uh, the pressure taken off him because he's a creative player. Like, he... If we didn't have Bruno, he should have been playing 10 for us, you know? Yeah, exactly. But that's the problem is now we have Bruno, and Pogba's kind of lost his place to that. Yeah, but... Yeah, exactly. So you either play a midfield three and have him push mm. up. Well, I think... Ch- or, yeah, you play him... Yeah, that's... If he plays just off the shoulder of um, Ronaldo, mm. imagine what him and Ronaldo could do with a bit of space. Yeah, sure. But like, I know neither of them are overly quick. It doesn't matter. But, like... No, Ronaldo they, still they're smart enough Ronaldo's to, still getting in behind Yeah, the they're time. smart enough to find the space and play... Like, mm. Ronaldo's not... The quickest he's ever been, but if Pope is playing is, a ball on the on the spot for him, oh, he'll yeah. get there on time. Well, that's like, what that's what Bruno's doing anyway. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so Bru- every goal is just Bruno teeing it up for Ronaldo in the box. Just yeah. do it, he's doing like a lob through ball, and Ronaldo <laughs> just like either kicks it or heads it in. That, yeah, that's just my crystal ball gazing. But yeah, Sancho is a wing back. Love it. Um. Yeah, so that, it's interesting. Yeah, none of us, none of us won this week. We all, no one won. Liverpool lost a game. You got, you drew, and we lost as well. So, rip. yeah. But so, moving on, a team that did win was Norwich, right? Norwich yes. beat the bees, Brentford bees, two one. Yeah. And then, in celebration of winning the game, decided to f- fire their manager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's what, that's one way to celebrate, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy, right? But I suppose it was about they were they were thinking he he was going to be going anyway because before then it had been real bad. Yeah, um, yeah, that's just one of those things they they made up their mind before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was off anyway. So uh, oh yeah, I said yeah, I said to Patty like they they told the players before the game they were going to fire the manager, so that's why they played a 2-1 and won the game. Oh, yeah. And we're like, <laughs> here's, here's your going away They're like, oh, he's going to... He's like, no, no, they said, if you win, we'll fire him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, yeah, so that's that's a big one for both those sides, really. Well, Norwich um, needs some points, man. And Brentford need to keep getting points to stay where they are, so... Yeah, they're doing good. Yeah. Um, I like Brentford. <laughs> Crystal Palace and Wolves. Yeah. Crystal Palace just continue their run. Veer, man. Um, he's, he's got it down. Yeah. And Gallagher again with a goal. Yeah, man. Like, uh, yeah, we've raved about him. This We've called this one from the start, man. Yeah. Just. He's good, You, you were talking about um, football manager before. Yeah, yeah. Gallagher, man. I've been playing FIFA nonstop for the last two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, And yeah, I signed Gallagher and... Just like just a monster. And, oh right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, really. Okay, cool. But, so he just um, gets good real quick, okay. Yeah. So me. No, um yeah, once again, Crystal Palace just doing palace things. Doing it right. Yeah. Yeah, the Vera effect. Dude, it's it's so annoying. All of these like middling teams are doing so good right now that it's makes the top tier teams look shit. <laughs> yeah, what well, is is that also it? Is it the no, it's just, yeah, the Premier League is the best fucking league ever because there's 10 fucking big teams that are hard. Uh, yeah, there's, there's so much competition. Sh- yeah. And wait for Newcastle to get up there too once they start investing in the right ways. And exactly. Like, That's it. There's another one to the mix, eh? Yeah. Like crazy. Yeah, right around the corner, we've got another one coming in like that. And yeah, it's it's crazy. It's they the Premier League deserves more Champions League spots, man. Like at this rate, do you reckon? Yeah, How, like do. what do you reckon? Five, six, five. Yeah, maybe five at least. Yeah, because there's just so many good teams. Do you think the Champions League should be extended? It's a lot of football. That's the problem. They already play so much. If you just add one, yeah, oh, okay. I don't know. They, the, when they make decisions like this, they should have like a football referendum and ask the players, like, do you do you get every football player to vote? Do you think we should extend this competition? Like, or every player that's played in it in the last 10 years or something. Yeah. And you get like a referendum of them and see what make they made the decision. Or do you reckon they should do it like the FA Cup and just have like every team 
play in it every single team. And it's but just you quali- straight, but you and qualify it's just straight, certain points or something. Yeah. Like where you end up in your league is where you enter the competition sort of thing. Interesting. And just it's just straight knockouts, no replays. Sounds no really fucking convoluted, but <laughs> And there'd be like a bit a lot of travelling for small no. teams and things, and, but and then just like the lowest ranked team, it's they play at home. I see what you're saying, but and just yeah, and, but I crazy. like the group stage as well. The groups yeah. are good, except you know you end up versus the same teams every year, but just because it's probability. But maybe if there was more groups or something, but well, I on that I have heard that apparently the when they do the draws for those sort of cups that the the like f- top five favorites the bulls in the bucket that they pull out are warmed up kind of like a squash ball so when you pick one out you know it's a warm like you know it's a favorite you're kidding no nah, nah, a- allegedly that's what happens that's corrupt yeah is, but yeah it wouldn't surprise so you me. don't draw them so you don't draw them in the same it wouldn't surprise well yeah. no but they can't draw it there anyway they they do sort of fi- fix that but they're yeah. seeded to some degree. Yeah, but yeah, the 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 yeah, allegedly anyway. Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah, FIFA's corrupt. Who knew? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But or UEFA, yeah. But right. <laughs> um, on to Chelsea, Burnley. Yeah, Burnley, well, Burnley see, get a point. So yeah, Burnley get a point, and Chelsea, you know, drop some points. Uh, and that's what I'm saying, like. We lost, and then Chelsea drew as well. So it's actually not so bad. It's yeah. a good, good time to lose. Again, yeah, it's even. It's yeah. even. Again, Except for like, City, yeah. of course. But, um, you know, it was Chelsea that's top, and they still dropped points. So it's sort of, there was some slack, but... Yeah. And like I've been saying for the last couple of weeks that Burnley are a good side. Mm-mm. And that they're hard to break down. And to draw 1-1 with possibly the champions... Like that, like yeah, you know, the current Champions League holders in the top of the league. Yep. Like that's no mean feat. Mm-hmm. True, true. So and like you know, one-one. That's pretty good. Well, I, it, to do it at Chelsea as well. At, yeah. At Stanford Bridge, right? So like, it. It's normally Burnley that's good at home. You know, that's what kind of what I thought. But yeah. But this time away, okay. Chelsea needed, yeah. That's that's three, two point, two more points that could have put yeah, them ahead. Pushed, yeah, exactly. And they missed yeah. out. So, um, and then Brighton, Newcastle. You've already talked to Patty about this one. Ah, uh, yes. Um, so, of course, the main feature is this this dodgy red card at the end, the to Sanchez, the goalkeeper. Yes. And so, oh, yeah. So, I want to hear your take because yours is a little bit different from. Hades. yeah so i watched i watched the last i managed actually to watch the last 15 minutes of this game oh. which i'm so glad i did like mm-hmm. and well it was just like those last couple of moments were just electric football yeah mm-hmm. it reminded me of the city qpr game where joey barton <laughs> knees i think it was aguero on the last day and get sent off. Is this a, is this a, is this a teaser for your Barca eleven? <laughs> well, actually, I didn't mean to do that, but yes. Okay, right. Hundred percent. Joey Barton is a bastard. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> mm. Um, I haven't heard your guys eleven, but I if Joey Barton's not in it, I don't care. No, he wasn't. So, <sighs> yeah. Oh no. Um, no, you'll be fresh. Don't worry. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, it was just the goalkeeper comes out, clips. Wilson, mm-hmm. as he's about to, like, you know, he's one on one with the goalkeeper. Wilson sprays it past him like it's nothing. Yeah. And he's about to shoot. And, and like, yeah, you're going to, all you're going to do is pass it into the goal. It's 100% a goal. Yes. I like, agree. I agree. Any, a, a child could, could put, I would have scored. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. There's no way a defender's getting back. The goal's no so way. far yeah. open. And he, like, he literally could run it in if he wanted to. Yes. Like, he's, yeah, he's in. He's 100% mm. in. Like, yes, I, I agree. Yeah, um, the red card I agree with. Um, yes. Last man goal sc- denying I, a clear I, goal scoring yeah, opportunity. Exactly. Right? Yeah. My suggestion, and it's only a suggestion. I know mm. it's not the current rule, but should it be a penalty? See, I'm I'm with you. And the way I ex- the way I explained it to Patty was that the red card was given because 
he denied a clear goal scoring yeah, opportunity. Yeah, because it's, fa- right? it's foul play. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. so denying a direct goal scoring opportunity, right? Yeah. And then what he gets is an indirect free kick. So he's he loses a direct goal scoring opportunity and what he gets instead is an indirect goal free three, kick. Like, three. Yeah, so it wasn't he, it, it was half the not even half the threat the the position he was in before. Yes. Yeah. He's not being adequately compensated for the position he lost. Yeah. And it, yeah, it, it's, it doesn't seem fair. Yeah, it's like if you seek your manager because they're not doing well, <laughs> do they get their full pay or do they get half the pay because they're not doing that well? Like, yeah, yeah. You know, well, they it, get the full. You pay don't, you don't get goes. the full compensation. Like, mm. like you know, it's just um. <laughs> <laughs> It's the way it should work, eh? Like no. you get your compensation goes on how many goals you goals you scored or conceded. Oh, sometimes um, it does, but no, no but um, but yeah, but that's just what I'm saying. Like, I it's... I almost in that in that scenario, I think I would I would like to see the rule change go to a yellow card and a penalty rather can, than just a, a. It can still be a red for me, man. I I think it can still be a red because he. He he did the he the foul is for denying a clear goal scoring opportunity and it was and yeah. then you should be given a clear goal scoring opportunity yeah because you were denied one yeah I th- no matter it what it shouldn't matter if it's outside yeah the no what no yeah no matter what the outcome is it should at least New Newcastle should get a penalty definitely whether the keeper gets a red or a yellow for that infringement yeah does not bother me. But mm. they should be Especially given because he's so through, man. It's, oh. and he's about to hit it like and, one more touch, and it's in. And like sure. Newcastle need those three points. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's and, an injustice. Yeah, and Brighton, Brighton could do with the one point. Like you know, they could do with Newcastle not having those two points. So mm-hmm. you're affecting the whole league table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's just not. It's not just one game and one goal. You affect the whole turnout of the season. If if Newcastle go down by two points, I, I get what you're or saying. Or a point, but like you know, you the, go back to that moment and you go, the, the, if they had that penalty, you're back him to score it. Okay, the keeper gets sent off. Fear that's his problem, mm. but there's no compensation for that's, Newcastle yeah, there. Yeah, I, you say, I think you're setting a bit too high of a standard, but it's yeah. kind of hard to get these things perfect. But no, but yeah. it, I just think there should be a look at the rule change. Yeah, I agree. I agree. There's, and that and it no. shouldn't matter. The box is arbitrary, right? The 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 size is just decided because of whatever. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. It, it was a clear goal scoring opportunity. Like again, what if it was like, what if it, the the goalkeeper was on halfway and you're just inside their half and like the goalkeeper trips you up, but yeah. but like there's no one in front of you. You've got like a clear shot at goal. The yeah. only person behind you is the goalkeeper and he takes you out. Like it's I don't know. It's it's crazy, eh? Yeah, it's kind of it just kind of it's kind of shitty. Like it's it should have been they needed they deserved a bigger chance. Yeah, I I agree. So yeah, there should. Yeah, I don't know how else you you fix those oh, sort okay. of situations. Well, well but... these these were our suggestions. We we came up with these insane ideas. So one was uh, instead of a penalty, you get you you shoot the ball from where the foul happened into. There's no wall, so it's like a free kick, but there's no wall, no yeah, no, no players. defenders. It's straight into an open so, goal. Yeah. So like, yeah, either you just get to take the shot, either straight into an open goal from that position. Okay. Right. Yeah. Or and then Paddy added, um, and then the goalkeeper starts at the corner flag. It has to run, and they get to run, run in and like take the, whist- out the whistle you blows, can, yeah. and you both get to go. So they they get a chance to stop, but it's not going to happen. Um, yeah. What, like yeah, just like straight one on one with the keeper, but that's hard. I mean, that's still hard. I, again, that's still lesser of a chance than he had. You yeah, because there that's was no keeper. Yeah, there was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, and so then alternatively, I said, you know, or you could just do it like when the foul happens, every single player has to stand where they were standing when the incident happened, and then he just gets to shoot from there. So the goalkeeper's like, like the goalkeeper's like behind you because he's just and fouled just, you, and then just play on. Yeah, so then oh, you just you okay. just shoot and play on. So if it goes, you can kick it straight in the net from there. That's cool, but if it doesn't go and play on. Okay, so it's like these he, are random, but it's yeah, like he like got them. to take his shot. But again, convoluted. Um, but there needs to be something. That's well, I originally kind of said just make it a penalty because that's kind of. The, like the, the go-to yes yeah yes that's the go-to in football and it doesn't the the box is an arbitrary line so 
denial of a clear goal scoring opportunity is the standard and you should get a penalty for that doesn't matter where it is yeah 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 mm. i yeah i th- yeah it's a penalty for me well, yeah. I know it's not a penalty, just to get that clear. I know that's not the rule. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, th- I know. I always I always have this argument with Paddy, and I'm like... As I, I know the rules. Like, I know yes, that's yes. not the rule, yeah, but yeah. that's not We're, the point. <laughs> I'm arguing to change the rule. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, but that's not the rule. <laughs> if, you can, if you can bring VAR in, because VAR wasn't a thing that many years ago, Yeah, yeah. like, why can we not change this? Yes, exactly. And this is more beneficial to the game than VAR is. Mm. Uh, just my opinion. If it's wrong, All right, it makes tell us about it. it. If it's not, yeah. I'm not going to listen. It's like, a, it seems logical to us. So yeah, I mean, drop a comment if you disagree. And yeah, I'll like roast you in the comments. Yeah, section. tell us tell us how bad our opinions are, please. <laughs> our raw opinions. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. So well, that's that's covers the league. Um, there's not a lot of point in doing a preview because it's international break now. So. Ooh. Have a yeah. good time off. Um, but but you have a, a another bastard eleven. Yeah, shit how's the eleven? Yeah. Yeah, shit. Yeah, shit whatever you want to call it. That's um, cool. Yeah. Well, that's great because yeah, Patty had a, a good one earlier, and uh, well, now we'll hear yours. Oh, where do I start? Start with the goalkeeper and make your way forward. Okay. That's what we did. Yeah. Okay. So I had, I had. Hello. <laughs> I had Harold Schumacher okay. from Germany. Um, a pretty decent career in the Bundesliga, played for Cologne yeah. and Dortmund. Um, won two World Cup finals, European Championship, two-time German Player of the Year. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> most Mostly known for a... Flying kick against France in the 1982 World Cup semi-final oh. in a 3-3 draw. I see. I was waiting for um, something. Yeah. yeah, so Patrick Bat- Batterson. I, I don't know. Okay. don't care. Yeah, yeah. He's, it was 1982. I didn't... Like, who cares? That's um, cool. So and cool. yeah, he just comes out outside the 18-yard box and just like super kicks him. Like... So good. <laughs> shit. Okay. Um, wow. I, I really struggled to find a shit housery keeper. Mm, mm. Um, so that was something that I always sure, see yeah. on highlights and that. See, and I was I, like, that's such a great. I would have thought there'd be more keepers because. Every, like the, the every, crazy, right? For all, all goalkeepers, like every time the, there's a corner coming in, you like jump and like accidentally like punch someone in the face. <laughs> you know, like they do it all the time. Yeah. All of them do it. They're all bastards. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really have anyone else for the goalkeeper role, to be fair. Mm. Um, I agree with most goalkeepers. Yeah, I most just, goalkeepers are yeah. bastards, yeah. Yeah, but just not What about bad. just Kepa, Kepa, just for being so for shit? Di- I did think of Kepa, and then I also... What, what, about, yeah, what about the one when he refused to, to come, come off, off for the period, yeah. and, he, and he lost and then it? I also thought Tim Krull for just being, like, just an absolute mad dog in penalties. Yeah, but, um, but like you know, it's just that's just been a good goalkeeper. It's not the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then centre back Ramos, obviously self explanatory. We, we, we had Ramos, yeah. Uh, Ryan Shawcross. Oh, true. Self explanatory. Yeah. yeah, just a thug. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kevin Musket. Enlighten me. I'm not another not. another hothead. Um, an English born Australian. International. Oh no, that's um, a bad max. Yeah, he was. Um, he received twelve red cards in his career. I mean that Ramos received thirty, but yeah, <laughs> um, he was responsible for a moment where Neil Warnock um, was managing Sheffield United, um, oh. and Warnock called. Uh, he said when it was in an. Um, in a documentary, and he said, "When Walnut calls you, calls you shit house, you know you're a bastard." Yeah. And I was like, "How can I not put that in?" Like, well, that's that's amazing because Walnut came up in Paddy's one because he was talking about uh, a little player. Was it Duke, Duke, or something? D- Duke. Uh, yeah. yeah, maybe some. Yeah, like, I can't remember. Now. It was a striker, eh? Or something like that. Some shit yeah. house, shit house can't. And then Neil Warnock criticised him for it, and then had a had a go. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, but Musket went on to play for Melbourne Victory. Yeah, and coach oh, right. coach Melbourne Victory. Um, you know, won a couple of A leagues and um, coached to a couple of finals. Yeah, yeah. Um, not that long ago. So mm. um, right, I okay. only had three at the back. Oh, only okay. with three at the back. Well, you, yeah. Okay, you're forgetting. Um, uh, you're forgetting David Louise. Yeah, no, didn't want him in there. No, I thought what? those were. I thought those were my three. I like. I had Shawcross in there, so yeah. But you can have Dave, you can have David yeah, Louise. In Louise, there, yeah. yeah. Um, so I went with. Oh, and we had Ashley Cole as well. Ah, uh, yes, I did think about Ashley Cole. So I went at three four three. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, midfield, mm-hmm. Vinnie Jones. Okay. Yeah. I don't of, know much about Vinnie, Vinnie Jones. Well, uh, again, sent off twelve times in his playing career. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, douche. Is he there? <laughs> uh, once in 1992, grabbed um, Paul Gascoigne by the genitals. genitals. Um, okay, wow, well, that's a bit yeah, much. Yeah, just um, another one. He whistle blew and he ran up and punched a guy straight in the face. <laughs> <laughs> like the kickoff went and somebody was sitting in the tunnel beforehand right. and without... Like, the ball was passed, and he ran straight past everyone, straight up to a guy, just punched him in the face. <laughs> wow. Look it up on YouTube. On the Wait, on the opposition team? Or yeah. Was like, yeah, oh, okay. look it up on YouTube, anyone. Look yeah, yeah, at yeah. Finney Jones punches guy in face. Oh, right. In right. football game. Um, oh, yeah, we'll link it. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, Finney Jones, yeah. Um, Mark Van Bommel? No, go okay. ahead. No? Who's that? Um, he played for Bayern Munich. Um. And PSV Eindhoven, and he's just a dude, um, a dude. yeah. What, what he, he was just one of those niggly players that like would use any Easy. part of his body to stop <laughs> anyone. Yeah, sure. Like you know, just that real like. I give you something. He wouldn't be in, and his personality wasn't an asshole. It was just he played the asshole on the football field. Yeah, it was just hard. Like you know, after a game with him, you'd be bruised and yeah, so knocked definitely. around. All right. Um. Yeah, he was sent off in his final game. In 2013. <laughs> great way to great way to finish, yeah. Yeah. So but yeah, um, yeah, you finish early on your last day. That's <laughs> that's all you do, right? Yeah, why not? Um uh, yeah, again, he was There's, caught in two thousand seven, he was caught pinching a Stuttgart player between the legs. Okay, so, what a weirdo. Yeah. Just okay. like you know, put people off their game, I De- guess. Definitely, yeah. Okay. So that's that's your midfield? Yes. Uh, well, no. I I more. still have more. I have Lee Catamol, another. Oh right, yeah. Another shithousery. Sure. Um, picked up. Uh, he was. He picked up seventy-seven yellow cards Jesus. in his career. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a few. Uh, yeah, the amount of bad tackles he made. Um. He had more red cards than he did goals. Wow. Okay, that's yep. And like the, oh, he, he five. Was, he was a box to box midfielder too. Oh god. Like, okay, I see. That's <laughs> that's rough. Um, obviously Joey Barton. Yes. Um, we know. <laughs> we know what he could do. Um. Well, I'll tell you our midfield. Right, we had um, we had Sergio Busquets. Yep. Bit of a douche. I thought of. I just thought of one now. Um. Marijuana Fellaini. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fellaini is one of the kings. Like, oh, one yeah, of the elbows. worst. It's like he would elbow everyone. I remember <laughs> when he he got his hair pulled. Yeah. So then he shaved his head, right? Yeah. Just to stop people pulling his hair. And then first opportunity when he sees his clone, Gwen Doozy, playing for Arsenal. Pulls he his pulls his hair and pulls it. him to the ground. Love it. He yeah. was like, yeah, he's like, ah, I learned this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Um, who else do you have? Oh, uh, my! Oh, I'll just go through my strikers. Was Diego yeah. Costa? Yeah, we had Diego Costa and definitely. Luis Suarez. And yeah, we had Suarez uh, as well. Like a hundred percent. Yeah. Um, a few men- honorable mentions. Um, you've Dave, you've already mentioned. Mm-hmm. We had um, um, we had oh, Eric Cantona for yes. um, karate kicking a fan, a fan in the face. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pepe. Oh, of course, Pepe yeah. was one of the worst. Yeah. Dude, 
Um, Duncan Fern- Ferguson for Everton. Oh, okay. He's known as a shit house. Yeah, um, yeah standard. <laughs> yeah, there's like there's so many. Um, just on Diouf, um, he was investigated for racial slurs against a ball boy. <laughs> oh man. Um, and and directed offensive gestures at Brighton fans after scoring a penalty. Yeah. Okay. So like yeah standard that's what you do yeah there's like again anyone's got a shit house 11 they want to throw out there jamie vardy like yeah just for personality um just yeah. winding people up yeah love yeah, it yeah. um mm. I, I yeah there's probably not that many in the current game well ramos ramos, you know, ramos yeah the, there, there's, still, there's always a few you there's know. a couple around yeah. but yeah. Um, just keep on the lookout, guys, and let us know. If you yeah. see any new modern shithouse players, like, set us up. Yeah. Oh, Shithousery is, like, one of the best parts of football. Paddy did say Robertson, but I, I thought he was just trying to make Robertson seem Like, Andy, seem, Andy seem, Robinson? Yeah, yeah seem no, tough. He's I, just trying to make him seem tough, eh? I don't, think he's, I don't think he's a... He's a menace. He's not a hard man. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, he's not, he's not an arsehole. Oh, what, about, just a, what about John Joe Shelby? That's another one we must say. Yeah, I don't think he's. Well, again, I don't think he's hard enough. Like, <laughs> mate, he. I think he, he, he makes. I think he nails make, for breakfast. He would make my dumb ass eleven him probably. <laughs> like you know, he has his red cards and things just come from like being oh, yeah. pure stupidity. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. not because he's an asshole, I guess. Um, okay, right, but right. yeah, I. Some people will argue differently. Um, again, anyone that's listening, please send us your yeah. shit house eleven or. Absolutely. Or bastard, bastard eleven. We want to see them. See yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. And we'll tell you where you go wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course. We're venomous in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, no, love it. Yeah. Uh, any, any, any closing thoughts? Um, no, not really. International break. So, um, yeah, we'll just yeah see how that goes. Yeah. So much see. Um, yeah, that's yeah. one thing. I heard Pogba got injured immediately, so he's yep. out until next year, apparently. So. Yeah, um, I I don't have too much. Oh, the managerial merry-go-round. Um, yes. Yeah. You know, what was it? Four or five managers oh, gone. We did, and we did cover Eddie Howe at Eddie Newcastle. Howe at Newcastle. Yeah. Um, I have heard various reports saying that um, Stephen Gerrard to Villa is very close. Um, oh. Apparently, he's favourite. Okay. Um. Villa the, have been unlucky, man. I, hmm. I don't. I don't think Dean, Dean Smith deserved to go. Mm. Um, yeah, these so many new players. Um, yeah, and it's like hard. you see, the league's so tough. Yeah. Stevie G, bigger foot. Yeah. He's well, so yeah, it's whether he wants to put himself out there or whether he's happy dominating a shit league. Um, if he's a real manager, he'll go to Villa. Yeah, why not? If he, if, he, he, if he actually wants to be a top manager one day. Yeah. He he needs to go to Villa. Lampard did it, so come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, Lampard is another one. I I'd love to see Lampard go to Norwich. Yeah, sure. Like, and Something if they like go, that, yeah. and if they go down, you know he's like he's been in the championship before. Yeah. Definitely. So, it could be and Newcastle, uh, not Newcastle, Norwich. Uh, they seem almost destined to be a yo-yo club. Yeah. They almost seem happy with it. Um, yeah, for some whatever reason, Pookie just can't. He will score twenty five goals in the championship and then one in the Premier League. You know, like, yeah. Kind of I so, know. so I think if if they take on Lampard, I think it's a good fit. Yeah, maybe it's worth um, a go. Yeah, and if you go down, give them some time, build them. They'll build that team up, and they'll come up, and they'll be all right. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. And just if they're happy to be a yo-yo club, why not take a punt on a young manager? Why not? Yeah, yeah cool. they didn't invest that much in their squad this season, so they obviously didn't rate their chances. Um, so He's yeah, trying they, to survive. Yeah, so why not go down with a young manager and give them a bit of time? Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. And then the other one is uh, Javi. Ah, Barcelona, yes, at Barcelona. Yeah. Um, Very interesting. We'll see. Yeah, big move, right? Um, yeah, bold move. Like, I don't know, I've never seen him coach, so... Yeah, well, he was in... Um, Qatar. Something like, like that, yeah. Yeah. Again, like yes, he's got pedigree as a player. Does he have it as a coach? 
He's still got an understanding of the game, I suppose. But yeah. We'll see if it translates. Yeah, so um, good on him. Seems to be the Barcelona way, though. Pick old players to coach. Um, well, it's also the trend, the trend today now, too. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're probably looking for something to excite that next generation. Well, yeah, I was just complimenting Barcelona on their young players because, you know, they have Pedri, right? Yeah. But they also have Ansu Fati back in the team. Yeah. And then now they have this new kid, Gavi. Yeah. Who plays left wing. He's 19. And now they have another guy called Nico, who's okay. also like 18. All these, And they're all really good Spanish young guys. Yeah. Okay. So they just cr- Churn pump, them, pump out them out, of okay. course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, well, it might be worth Xavi just going cleaning house. Well, it was, I think at this kind of thing, it was time. I think there was a lot of old, old, older players in there passing the guard. So it's kind of that. They have to breed in the next gen. Well, I'd, I would the almost, the great I would record. almost, if I was Javi, I'd be gone. Everyone can go. It's the go. great, the great reset. Yeah, I would do the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, um, but that might, it might be the resurgence of people like MTT. Um, Maybe. Well, we we're, we're also um, saying MTT may be one of the ones that goes to Newcastle. Because yeah, he's sort of fallen in our favour and like, like I would, I would have a wage. I would consider him at Spurs. Um, yeah, we're on the hunt for defenders. Um. PK could be another one that gets P- shipped out. PK's 100 years old, though. Like. Yeah, exactly, but why not? Get rid of him. Yeah. Either that or tell him to quit. Well, tell him to retire. Become a coach. Yeah. Just, well, not even that. Just say, look, look, you're not on my plans next season. Um, yeah. Make this your last. Yeah. Yeah. We want to sell you next year. Go live with Shakira in America or something. Yeah. Go play for LA. Yeah, why not? Yeah. He probably would, so uh, he'd play for LA, play in the midfield or something stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he still plays centre back. You reckon? He's got no. he can't run. <laughs> yeah, but like it's He's fine. He'll be the okay. He's dominant, <laughs> yeah. Alright, alright. Yep, so you're good in it there, yeah? Yeah, no, that's no that's worries. it. Just um yeah, everyone just send us your thoughts on the Brighton um sending off and yeah, um if you want and your shit house action. eleven. Yep. Great, go ahead. Yeah, like and subscribe. And um, and please share. Please share this. Yeah. Want to get famous. Yeah. <laughs> I need to make money so I can stop working. And I'd rather do this than go to work. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we need to at least make enough to pay rent, please. Yeah. Well, so, share w- away. It wouldn't take much for us to actually get like a premises, you know. Yeah. So, please share this so we can pay rent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sweet. Thanks, guys. See you later.